A new baby was born at the El Paso Zoo on Tuesday. But this is not your ordinary baby. This is a Preswalski's horse, an endangered species that can no longer be found in the wild. ABC 7's Katie Frazier has the details on the exciting newcomer. This little girl behind me is now the third Preswalski horse born right here at the El Paso Zoo. Preswalski horses are native to Europe and Asia, but are extinct in the wild and have been since the 1960s. Less than 2,000 of this species remain. Preswalski horses, also known as Mongolian horses, are considered the last true wild horse breed on the planet. You see mom, Brianna, an unnamed baby female, just uh, popped out the other day, surprised us. We knew she was coming. We just didn't expect her that soon. And Dad Vitali, who's off exhibit, they've been a pair for a number of years now, and they've had three successful uh, youngsters. John Casita is the animal curator at the El Paso Zoo. A big part of his job has to deal with animal conservation. Just a few days after birth, the bond between mom and daughter is clearly strong. It's amazing that a young animal that big can come out of another living animal. The legs are as long as my legs, it seems practically. And it's great to see a mom in a, in a foal like that so well uh, adjusted and that foal really having that immediate uh, tie to mom. You can see how that baby will not leave mom's side. It will take some time before they introduce Vitaly, the father of the baby, in the exhibit at the same time as the baby or mom. But Vitaly still gets some contact with his daughter behind the scenes. The future of the Przewalski's filly here at the El Paso Zoo is unknown at this time, but hopes for continued conservation are top of mind. They're extremely smart. They work well with our team. Maybe this little foal or another one in the future will actually go out to a semi-wild reserve in Russia. Welcome to the world, little filly. Those of you at home, if you want to see mom and baby, just come right out to the El Paso Zoo. But for more information on the species or to buy tickets to the zoo, you should find this story on KVIA.com. For now, reporting from the El Paso Zoo, Katie Frazier, ABC7.